Hello, Pokemaniacs. Today, I'm telling you guys what I am buying or looking to buy currently for this next month of November. Uh, there's singles and sealed, some stuff I got my eye on. We're starting off with the Gardevoir from Paldean Fates. I kind of touched on this recently, but this card with Paldean Fates, the Bubble Mew uh, is really popping off. The Charizard's kind of starting to pop off now too. And this is just one of those cards that I think the popularity of the Pokemon, the artwork, I think that this card is going to have some room to run, just especially because the set is hot. So this is one of those cards that I am looking up, looking at picking up multiple copies uh, with potentially grading some. Uh, the PSA 10s, we'll touch on that in a minute as well. They're not selling uh, super high in a PSA 10, but what we've seen with a lot of these cards that are starting to pop off recently is the PSA 10 prices like tend to go up first, like sometimes they double overnight. And then the raw copy kind of follows after. We'll see. Um, there's quite a few copies. Um, well, not like a ton, but there's a good amount. 113 on TCG Player. Uh, this card is down 12% over the past three months. And it kind of is almost flat in the past month. And you can see there's been a lot of sales right here at the $41 uh, mark. Last solds are 43 42 41 um, but then there's this guy as well. So this guy's taken off right now, but I still think that there is some room uh, on him just because uh, with where the bubble muse at, with what the other Charizards have been doing, kind of like 151, you know, 12% uh, up on the three month chart and, but 28% growth in the last month, kind of with where things are like just really popping. I think there, there's just too much room on this guy. Um, I, I don't know where it's going to end up i don't want to I, I can't nobody can really say for certain but just uh, this is another one it's i feel like it's not as a no-brainer as the gardevoir in my opinion but it's still decent uh we'll zoom out to the one year on this guy so at release this guy did go as high as 184 so that is something uh, to consider like some of those other cards are hitting one year or all time highs some of the ones that are getting hyped up so there is room for this to get closer to 200 or just below 200 and we'll, so that's why I, I think it's possible uh you can't always go off of pre-release prices like that doesn't mean that they'll ever get back to those but with what's been going on lately it's possible also uh i think that when you can go from a 100 what was it one sorry 120 130 ish card and you can grade and go for 450 340 so a few 450 sales 300 to 400 dollars and 20 dollars to grade um Right, that's another play I'm looking at potentially. We'll also look at the Gardevoir. So, like I said, not as crazy as the Gardevoir uh, or as the Charizard here, but I mean, still you're taking a forty dollar card and turning it into one hundred and thirty. Uh, so, just something else I'm looking at. I haven't checked the pop reports on these cards, so I'm not sure how difficult they are to grade. So that that uh, obviously factors it in. I'll probably take a look at that, you know, before I uh, grade them. But even having some raw copies of these. Uh, just something I'm looking at doing. Um, now, this, I don't know if this is be controversial. I don't think it is at all, but Crown Zenith, yeah, what's happening with like 151, a lot of sets, they just go, they go out of stock uh, eventually. And Crown Zenith has been heavily, heavily, heavily printed. Uh, but I still think that uh, even though these ETBs are up 11% right now on the past three months and they're about flat on the past month. Um, we're seeing sales around $58, all the last solds. I think that this is one of those where after these are not readily available, this is just too good of a set. I don't, I don't know about like having a jump like 151's had recently, but I think it's too good of a set and these are kind of no brainers uh, to still be picking up. At, you can find these in the wild. Some places I, I've seen online, um, them popping up. So uh, not hard to find the ETBs. Also, something that uh, I want to work on a little bit more, and this is a little different. This is like I've seen these going at uh, popping in recently at Walmart's, Targets, um, stuff like that. So picking these up at MSRP, I do like these tins a lot. I think that these will do well long term as well. Um, yeah, if you can get the set, that's even better. I think um, so. Not a ton of growth on this guy, right? almost 4% on the past three months, but on the last year it's done really well, 34% could have had this, this set for $68. So just another product that 
like when I'm out and about, I'll check the Targets, check the Walmarts, um, other stores, wherever I'm at, just to try and scoop some of these up because I do believe in Crown Zenith. I do think it's a really good set and it's kind of just, we need to eat up some of that, that supply that's out there and hopefully they stop printing it because it's been crazy how much they've printed. Now we've talked about this. This is Surging Sparks. This is not a surprise. So I've already done my, my buying for this, but I just wanted to include that in this video because it does come out uh, like what a week from tomorrow. This is uh, Halloween as of this recording. So these boxes are going crazy. As far as I know, my pre-orders are still being honored. That was through Forge and Fire. I try and be, I try and be as transparent as possible when I can. Uh, we're almost, we're getting close to the pre-release highs. So 22% uh, up in the past month. This is just, um, whether you think the set is too hyped up and there will be tons of reprints or more stock coming later, which most likely there will be more stock, more uh, a reprint, right? Uh, if the set is gonna continue like this. But for now, even if you're looking at maybe making a short-term play, right? Just flipping these boxes uh, more short-term. I could understand why people do that. For me, I'm not going to be flipping these short-term. I mean, unless they get crazy, like really crazy, but I don't I don't think they're going to get crazy, crazy. We'll see, though. I, I mean, I don't know. Nobody nobody can know for certain. Um, but yeah, so we're seeing still a lot of sales, even in the 140s, like right here. 96 in one day, that's... Oh man, yeah, see. So people are buying into the FOMO, they're buying into the, the strength of the set. Uh, last solds are pretty dead on, they're all 144s. So we'll see where this ends up before it even comes out. Uh, the, some of the singles are going really high. Uh, that's going to be something I'm going to be very interested in keeping an eye on, the singles as well. Um, also, uh, we talked about this in my, my, la uh, my recent videos talking about my investing strategy. Um, I did just pick up, uh, these just went out of stock on the Pokemon Center, but they'll, they should be back as well as the booster boxes and stuff next month or not next month, sorry, next week when the release comes out. Um, but I picked up, I added a, another case of Pokemon Center ETBs to my position, uh, yesterday or the day before, just adding that another, another case, just because I do believe in the uh, Pokemon Center ETB on this and the Magneton promo. Uh, just, just too much hype. It's just such a no-brainer to not pick up the Pokemon Center ETB at this point. Uh, when those come back into stock, they may be a better pickup, especially short-term, than the booster box. Um, so these are things that I've just gotten. I'm talking about things that I'm looking at getting. So this is... I, I try and do this. I should do this more often, I feel. But I just try and do this, be a little more transparent. Um, okay. Then we have some 151. So these have been coming into stock in Target recently. I've been missing them the last few times, but I'm really trying to get... Uh, the Alkazam and the Zapdos boxes, because if you can get these at MSRP, I mean, we're already up a lot. We'll zoom out to the one year and just see 69%. It was 96% up here, but I think, you know, a lot of these came back into stock, um, so the, the price kind of came down a little bit. But um, not the best product from 151, but I feel like currently anything you can pick up at MSRP is a steal. So uh, just something, I don't have any of these boxes in my sealed collection currently. I, it's more just booster bundles. So working on picking these up, uh, same thing with the Zapdos box, uh, not as valuable here. It's only at $36, but it was at 40 over here. Just 151, too high of a demand, I'm trying to work on that. Um, speaking of another thing, um, 151 related, if you guys aren't aware, these are currently, and these are selling out really fast, unfortunately, these are these mini tin, um, this five pack, five pack mini tins with some promos up here. These are going into Costco right now, Costco uh, right here, but people are buying them out by the pallet. Some people are calling ahead and like uh, talking to the management and they're limiting them in some Costco's, not all of them. So they're limiting it. So some people can get them. I think they were limiting them to like five per person or three or I don't know. Um, so check your Costco, call your Costco. Uh, this is something it, I think it was rolling out east to west. It seems like uh, from what I've seen on Reddit, East Coast to West Coast. So I'm on the West Coast, California. So uh, we should be getting them soon. I'm gonna check in my Costco. I don't know. We're gonna. It's just something I'm 
trying to get, right? Um, oh, yeah, and people will just buy the whole pallet. They'll just buy it out. So call your Costco, see if you can get them to limit it or, you know, because uh, for me, like, I would love to pick up some of these, but I'm not going to buy, I'm not going to buy the whole pallet, <laughs> right? Um, I'm just going to pick up a few stash them in the in the sealed collection and just let them sit um i have some loose mini tins but I, i'd like to add some more i do like the mini tins but yeah so 151's hot at msrp if you can pick it up pick it up uh it kind of goes without saying now we're going to look at a few um sirs these might be um these might be controversial i don't think so but uh let me finish when i'm talking about these so one i absolutely love this artwork and this card these are kind of on the way down these are special illustration rares from stellar crown that i really i really want in my collection and i'm going to wait and see i'm going to follow them and see how far they go um they're getting to the the point where you know this dash bun obviously pre-release it was high at 34 it went down to 23 uh and then came back up and it's kind of on its way down i kind of want to see how low it goes I would love if this gets into like the teens, like 19, somewhere in that range. Uh, I would love to pick up some just for my collection, not for not for investing purposes, resale. This is just some, a card that I want because I do think it's adorable. Um, great British baking show fan here. Um, so that's kind of why. Right. I didn't really like this Pokemon before, but this this card made me like it. So that's something uh, I'm keeping an eye on. It doesn't look like I mean, it's falling right like last month. Um, it's actually up point like pretty much even right so we'll see I mean even at this price range I don't I don't it's a special illustration for 27 28 bucks but I'm just gonna like follow it through see where it ends up um, now the same with this card now this card uh, I do have in Japanese I, I pulled it um, while I was in Japan I don't think I recorded that for a video unfortunately but this card pops and I just think it, same thing it's a cheap SIR that I think looks amazing it really pops so I would like to add this to English in my collection. So with Stellar Crown kind of on its way down, um, besides like the Bulbasaur and the Squirtle are doing well, um, the Tropagos I think is coming down as well. Just something I'm keeping an eye on. I mean, look at this 50 down to the 30s, down to 26 with last the last sold at 20. Um, I think it'll take a while before it gets down to there. It's like 25, 25, 25. So just gonna follow this guy to the bottom, right? It's down 16% in the past month. We'll see how low it can go. And then, uh, like I said, if I can scoop up my copy under 20, then that would be really ideal for an SIR. I don't know how much lower it'll go, but, um, yeah, if people, if people want to do, um, like forget about stellar crown and the cards, the prices will go down and that's fine. Then I'll take advantage of that. So, um, yeah, pick up a few cards that I like. I also like the hydrapple SIR, uh, that one's a little more, more expensive right now. I think it's in the thirties. Um, so I would keep an eye on that one. I did not pull that one up. Uh, another card, this is the last card on the list. And I've talked about this in several videos. Obsidian Flames with just Charizard hype. Even, I mean, I, so I picked up a few copies. I have a few copies that I got around, like, I got them, let's see, let's zoom out. It must have been back here, right around here, July. Uh, I think it was like 41, 42 bucks. Picked up a few copies. I still... I think now Obsidian Flames is not super popular, but the boxes are doing well. Uh, some people didn't like this artwork. I like it personally, so you know that there's others that like it. I think kind of along with the the Paldean Fates Charizard, I, I still think that there's room on this card uh, to run. So I don't really like to be chasing, you know, after it just went up almost 40%. So I'll keep an eye on this, and if this comes back down or levels off, I'd look at picking up a few more copies, potentially. Um, I know I didn't pull up the PSA 10 pricing, but the PSA 10 pricing, uh, some of these, uh, they they can go pretty high. I think this one's harder to grade. Uh, still not at a one-year high, though. Back here, it was at 63. So if you're getting right here, even in the 50s, there should be room for this to run. Uh, I, I could see this, you know, going up to a $75 card. It just depends. The pull rates were easier when Obsidian Flames came out, so not as difficult to pull, uh, you know. But still, if if Charizard is going to, if the 151 Charizard is going to carry other Charizards up, then you know that's something I'm fine with. So um, that is going to do it for this one, guys. I just wanted to 
make this video. I, I really should be doing more. I'll try to do more of these. Uh, let me know in the comments if you want me to do more, but uh, yeah, that's just what I'm buying. Some of it I've already bought. Some of it I might have bought by the time I post this video, and then others I'll, I'll, I won't have bought all of this stuff. Um, I don't have a unlimited fund for all this, and that's what always, and I'm always all over the place. I want like this card from this set, this card from this set, and I'm like picking from all over the place. Anyways, um, it's when you're a, a, a collector, it's kind of just what happens. I try and if I only invested, I would only do sealed. I wouldn't have any singles, but I can't help it. I gotta, I gotta have some singles too. So, um, anyways, yeah, that's gonna do it for this one, guys. I'll catch you in the next one. And remember, it was never a phase.